welcome to Rossmore. This is my summary of what we do with oyster farming. We would collect oysters out of the sea, about a thousand parents maybe per pond. We would then put those oysters into the ponds. So once the pond is full of water, it's a very enclosed system. The temperature of the water in the ponds heats up by a couple of degrees more than the estuary and that encourages the parents to spawn. The male sperm goes into the female. She incubates them for about three days and then she would release larvae into the pond. The larvae swims in the pond for about 10 days. Each pond can have hundreds of millions of larvae swimming around at any one point, start of the season. As the larvae accumulate calcium from the water, they start to build a shell. And as their shell gets bigger, they slowly sink down through the water and they settle on something hard, which is what we use, mussel shell. We've chosen mussel shell as being the best material. It's curved, it's small, it's light, it's movable. To put the mussel shell into the ponds, we scatter them with a shovel, either from a tractor or from a raft, so that we cover as much surface area as we possibly can so the larvae have got a good chance of finding it. The larvae attach onto the mussel shells and then slowly grow over the 10 weeks that they're in the ponds. And when you're putting in around 300,000 shells in a pond or more, that's a tremendous crop of oysters. Each pond is 30 by 30 metres, a couple of metres deep and holds about a million litres of water and we put about 150 kilos of parents in each pond and in a good pond we can get two million of these baby oysters. And then they're left in the ponds until they grow to about five millimetres in size. Then we would drain the ponds and take out the shell. It's incredibly hard work, it's wet, it's uh, physical and it has to be done and it's fairly time critical. Obviously the oysters cannot be out of water so we don't want any breakdowns at any stage of the way. In fact, I'd better just go and do some. <laughs> Gotta go! <laughs> this is the start of the new generation of oysters that have uh, come out of our ponds. And we're emptying the ponds now and putting the shells with the little babies out to sea. The oysters are so small, we have to keep them underwater for as long as possible. We put them into baskets as quickly as we can, and then we rush them to the sea on the tractor and trailer. We then take them from the trailer into the boat, then they're taken in the boat out to well-marked beds and we can scatter the seed where it sinks to the bottom and we'd rest there for the next four years. The oysters then grow, hopefully, happily, and then we would come back to that area four years later, fish intensively so that they are harvested. We pull a dredge behind the boat. It scrapes along the bottom and pulls up. It's got a large-ish ring size, so the small stuff falls through, but the big oysters come up. They're then landed onto the table. We sort the big oysters, the live oysters, into baskets. These are the parent oysters. These were bred in 2015, and these are the oysters we're going to breed from this year. Then it will mostly go to market, and then it's incredibly satisfactory when you actually sell them, and you see them on a plate in a restaurant, and they taste delicious.